Hi there, I'm Carolyn Spooner. I'm a librarian at the State Library of South Australia and I'm down here surrounded by 35 kilometres worth of shelving where we tell the stories of South Australians and one of my favourite South Australian stories is that of the South Australian brothers Sir Ross and Sir Keith Smith who won the great air race from London to Darwin in 1919. We're very lucky that the Smith family donated a lot of their memorabilia to the State Library where we've got it here for safekeeping. A hundred years after the race, we put a lot of that memorabilia into an exhibition called Heroes of the Skies, where we told some of those stories. The plane that they flew was a Vickers Vimy World War I bomber, and it was made of wood with wings made of linen coated with tar. Now the plane had a couple of Rolls-Royce engines which made an enormous noise and in an open cockpit you could hardly hear yourself think, let alone communicate. So how Ross and Keith communicated with each other was in writing in a, in a little book and we've actually got that little book in our collection. So we store our archival items in archival boxes and here is our little intercom book. It's tiny, isn't it? And so he's just written in ink but also in, in pencil as he goes along and he's written his little messages. Here's an example of one. Are you all right? I'm feeling very sick personally. And also on some pages, he's doing some calculations on the fly, as it were. Now, some messages are written in large print, so the mechanics, Wally and Jim, can see them at the back of the plane. For example, equator at the point. Now, I don't know if the mechanics expected to see some sort of a line on the, on the ground, but it was obviously a significant thing to show them. So how amazing is it that this little notebook has survived to this day to show what aviation was like in 1919? Quite amazing. You can see this little notebook digitised on our website along with everything else that's in the Ross and Keith Smith archive as well so that people anywhere in the world can have a look at each of these pages and enjoy them for themselves. Thanks for watching. <laughs>